Okay, here's the target. What a target it is. I present to you the world's largest diamond. It's being displayed at a Russian art exhibit for one night only before being locked up in a vault forever. Meaning we've got one shot at this. I've compiled the layout of the exhibit complete with floor plans, alarms, locations of armed guards, and all the bells and whistles you'd expect. We've swiped security badges and a logbook of anyone coming within 10 feet of the target. Now before the event, we can get you a 90 minute window to work your magic and make it past security systems. So if you have to use the restroom, I suggest bringing an extra pair of pants. And one more thing, if this goes south, you're on your own. Good luck. Yo, what's up and welcome back. Uh, today, a very special puzzle indeed. Look at this baby, look at this beauty. Uh, I ordered this like three months ago off Etsy from a Russian company that does uh, escape props. Of course they do. And uh, this was handcrafted, finally arrived in all of its glory, a jewel heist puzzle. Caught my eye right away. Uh, roughly retailed for about two or three grand. Definitely not a cheap puzzle, but this is something normally that would be living in an escape room, in an actual escape room. So it would be a, a worthwhile prop. I thought it'd be fun to solve on the channel. So leave a like uh, if you're here, if you're new here, leave a like if you've been here. And you know what, just leave likes in general, they're positive. Uh, so this comes with uh, the jewel that's in there. It comes with these cards, these shapes, with a wheel that is some type of cryptex. And it also comes with a worksheet here as well as a Morse code, a Morse code thing. So these are all the things that we have. I think that's enough things. Uh, without any further ado, let's get into solving this. I'm very excited, let's go. What's happened now is that there's this jewel that's been on display and I have a certain amount of time to get into it. I think an hour and a half is what we programmed it to do uh, using all these uh, clues. So we got like this Morse code clicker here, which will come in handy eventually. Uh, we've got this piece of paper. We've got these things. We've got the cards and we've got this, which gives us a code, I'm sure. Plus this thing has got a bunch of sides on it. It's got all these sides. And I think this is where we're gonna start. Oh, here we go. Boom, 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 boom. Okay. That's no good. What do I do here? Oh, 89 minutes and eight seconds. Okay, we got this here. This is what I'm sure these are for. So you can fit these in here, kind of like this. And maybe I can go We also have these cards here. You scan. So I guess I have to do this side first. I forget the order. How do I play it again? Okay. One, one, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, and Jesus. Boom, 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 boom. 
that's easy. What's happening? Okay, one, two, I know this now. Why is that, why is that no? Why is that no? I did exactly what it asked me to do. So I gotta press them at the same time. I know it's this, 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 this. This here lights up in the back, right? These numbers here. So if I place this here, it gives me numbers here. Like this is two, three, five, seven, eight, zero. Two, three, five, seven, eight, zero. Um, so let's try it here. First, we're gonna reset it. Two, three, five, seven, eight, zero. Here we go. Two, three, five, seven. Zero. I think it's. I'm not sure if you understand what I'm saying here, but let me try one here. So let's see this one, this one's simple. Okay, this one here. That would be one, three, four, five. One, three, four, five. So when the first, the third, the fourth, and the fifth light up, we'll try that. One, three, four, five. Okay, here we go. One, three, four, five. Try this one. This one is three, four, six, nine. Three, four, six, nine. You see that? So it's like three, four, six, nine. So let's just restart it. Three, four, six, nine. Three, four, Six, nine. Three, four, six, nine. Okay. So that's not the right card either. We'll try this one, it's got four numbers. This one would be three, five, seven, zero. Wait, zero? I guess zero is the last one, like 10. Three, four, seven, zero. Okay. Three, five, seven. Well, there's no zero. Right, let's try this one again. This one again is one, three, seven, eight. One, three, seven, eight. One, three, seven, eight. Let's go!
Scan ID cards in order. Scan ID ca cards in order. How do I know what order though? Let's get rid of these things here. This is annoying. How much time do we got left? Doesn't tell me. Okay. Wait, it does tell me. 75 minutes. We're good. We're golden here, 75 minutes. So scan ID ca cards in order. So we have that there. Where's the scan? Oh, it's back here. Okay. Oh wait, what? 84097941. I have no idea what all that means. <laughs> so we've got this here. 8409. Hold on. Where's the scan? Oh god. 8409 695, that's the lowest. This is the highest so far. This one. I'm thinking like... What's that sound? What is that sound? What if I put them all together and scan them at once? Okay, scan ID cards in order. A order of what? The work date? Surname? Last name? First name? Haircut? Beard length? What? I think it's, I think we'll take some notes here. Yeah. All right, scan ID cards in order. Okay, green hair guy. Eight nine seven two one. Eight nine seven two one and four eight four seven one five seven. That is a green haired guy. Seven. Okay. They all have their numbers. So it says scan IDs in order. I'm guessing it has something to do with this order here. Let's see if any of these numbers represent anything at all. A, B, C, D, E, F. F would be six. I feel like the easiest one to find would be this guy, 695. Because it's like a low number. So maybe like three numbers is three letters in his name. And then that guy, let's try this. Let's just try. Incorrect. Work date. That's the order. Clearly the order is the work date. Right? Why two sets of numbers? Maybe I add the two numbers again. I don't know. Jesus. I have this. Oh, here we go. This is what it is. I gotta use this, okay. So, oh, here are the pins are, right? So 695 would be, six would be L, nine would be E, and five would be O, oh, that's Leo. Amazing, okay. One, four, three, three, two, one. S, A, Three, three would be RR, right? RR, so this guy is, without a doubt, Leo Saris. Leo Saurus Rex, over here. Leo Saris, which is this guy, so 0304. He seems like number one, okay? Let's look at this guy here. This, this is starting to make sense to me now. Zero, is it Oscar? Is that Oscar or Oliver? Five, six. And that's an L, that's an Oliver. It's definitely an Oliver. So we got an Oliver here. Oliver Parson. Uh, he looks like the last one. So this is the order. It goes.
Wait, why didn't that work? Yeah, let me double check. Nine zero, this is Oliver. One or two Olivers, Oliver Parson or Evans? Nine zero four seven one. Nine. Wait, E. Oliver Evans. So that's what? Six? One, two, three, four, five, six. That's six. Okay, so that's this guy. This guy. This guy. This guy. And. Oh! Let's go! Oh no! He stopped recording. Okay. Got through that part. Sorry, we had a go. We had a failure on the camera side, but the GoPro's still up. What's going on now? Oh, over here. We got lights. I don't know if you can see they're all different colors. A little overexposed in the camera. That's blue, purple, red, white, green, and yellow. Oh, the lights light up in there. Okay, hold on. Green, purple, white, blue, green, purple, white, blue. Green, purple, white, blue. Wait. Okay, hold on, hold on. Let me try again. Red, purple, yellow, blue. Red. Purple, yellow, blue. Let's go. White, purple, red, blue. Green, yellow, blue. White, purple, yellow, blue, green, Purple, yellow, ah, W, Y, B, Wib, Wibber, Wibberg, 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 Let's go! Okay. Yee b Ebup Ebapug Ebapugger Ebapugger Wo Ebapugger Whoop R Ebapugger Wobukur Oh my god I, there's no way I can remember this. Oh my god <laughs> There's no way Well I can write it down, right? I'm gonna write this down. I gotta write it down. There's no way I can memorize this that fast. I was trying to use I was trying to use uh, letters for the what the start of it was. Okay, here we go. White, yellow, purple, blue, red, green, blue, white. Green, yellow. Okay, hopefully this works. Yeah, it was even hard for me to write down, by the way. White, yellow, purple, blue, red, green, blue, white, yellow. Red. Darn it, missed one. Green, white, purple, red, blue, yellow, white, green, red, yellow. Because normally you'd be like four people solving this, you know what I mean? And this is, I'm, I'm by myself, so I gotta write them down. Green, white, purple, red, blue. Yellow, white, green, red, yellow.
Let's go. Okay, now what? The door opened. Oh, let's go. And there's a Morse code. That's why we got this thing. Oh, this is getting exciting. Okay, where do I hook this up to? I'm doing. Okay, no other codes are given to me at this time. No other. Oh, here. Right here, it's written. Okay, I'm gonna have to write this down too. Okay, I got the code here. How do I make spaces? Because I feel like I'm missing spaces. Because you see on this little, on this little thing here, it'll give you like what I'm doing. So it's like dot dash dash space. Oh, got it. You gotta press the green button. Wires is the word. That's so cool. Wires, oh. Oh, right here, there's colors. Blue and red go together, yellow and yellow. Red and purple. Is that gonna repeat? Because the, the lights flashed. Hold on. Can I get that to start over, please? Oh, I know yellow and yellow were together. Right? Now blue and red. There was also a blue and, blue and red. Another blue and red, I think, right? Right? Maybe purple and purple, and green and green. Nice! Press any key. Oh wait, they're giving me a code here. Mess it up. How do I delete the codes? Okay, three, four, nine, 
Oh! Let's go! Woo! That is it, baby. That's what I've been waiting for. Look at that, baby. Look at this. That is our prize. That was fun! Man, that was fun. The wires are a lot of memory, let me tell you. Like, definitely tested my memory, especially that last bit. I was just like, so afraid of messing one up. Dang, this is pretty cool. Time? Doesn't say. Hold on, does it? Nope, just opens. Well, let's go then. Hot dang. <sighs> Well, there you have it. I thought that was pretty fun. First bit threw me for a loop. Other than that, pretty sensible puzzle. This is definitely something that I would have set up and let people try because uh, I think if you were two or three people, you could figure this out pretty easily, but you know, sometimes more people creates more chaos, so it might take you longer. Uh, regardless, if you like this puzzle, leave a like below, subscribe, all that stuff. Man, thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next one.